Hey guys, Sean here with a follow up to my previous iPod review. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. So, a lot of my viewers were asking me to do a video specifically on the capabilities of photos and videos on the iPod. So, that's what this video is about. So, we'll start with videos. Basically, it's exactly the same as the 5th generation iPod. Uh, the interface looks a little bit more like iTunes, but apart from that, everything else is the same. So I'll show you a clip of the MTV Video Movie Awards. Movie Awards, Music Awards, I'm sorry. So, by the way, this video is not from iTunes. I ripped it. Uh, the reason why I didn't get it from iTunes is because it's not available. If not, I would have bought it from there. Uh, I ripped it using a program called Videora, something like that. And it looks fantastic, it sounds very good, crisp, clean. Uh, it does the job very well. So, anyway, uh, the different menus are, well, they're not really menus, they're just controls, are that if you click the middle, the center button, rather say, once you get uh, this kind of bar which tells you where you're at in the certain music video or movie or TV show or whatever you're watching, uh, you click it twice and you get kind of this, I don't think you can see it, there you go, you get this like blue diamond which you can just scroll around since it's a very long video, but as you can see you can either rewind or four and there we go, Alicia Keys. So you click it three times and you get the brightness. You can put it a hundred percent, which you can see is very bright. Or you can put it at twenty, which I have right now. Or whatever you want, depending where you are. Uh if you click it four times you go back to where you are at the beginning where if you uh just scroll you can put the volume higher or lower. So that's basically the video controls. It's very smooth, no lag whatsoever. It does what it has to do. Uh, the battery lasts around four to five hours watching video, so that's good. Uh, the settings you have, you have, you are able to put it uh, on a big screen. You are able to view your, all your videos that are widescreen and full screen. And you're allowed to put captions, which I'm not sure what that is. I think that's like the little lyrics in the bottom or whatever. So the photo part. Um, this is probably one of the simplest things iPod has. So basically you just scroll around, you pick a photo, you click it, and you can view it. There's different ways of viewing. I mean, there's different slide shows that you can do. You can either do it transition or you can do it zoom in. I have it like zoom out right now I think. You can do fade away. So meanwhile you can be listening to music and watching your photos. Um, if you wanna view your fo the next photo you just click the forward button. Simple as that. You wanna see the previous photo you put the back button. To get out of here you just click the menu button. So as you can see, it's really simple. I mean, there's nothing to it. Um, apart from that, well, I'll just show you the, some of the games it comes with since I didn't show you that last time. So basically, you have three games. Um, they're pretty good games, but I really don't use them because I use the iPod more to listen to music. Uh, so anyway, uh, iPod Quiz basically just quizzes you on your music that you have. Um, It's a little bit more visual than the music quiz. I like it better. Also, here let's start a new game. I don't know how good I'm going to do since I don't have headphones on, but I'll give it a shot. So it's looking through my media library, and this is this tune from the year 2006, so I'm going to guess right, and it's wrong. Wow. It's from the year 2000. Um... Well, I know it's a Beach Boys song.
what wouldn't it be nice but that was old. okay as you can see it also incorporates album art which is really cool Nora Jones did not do that that's and it tells you when it when it's not that album art it'll tell you in the bottom whose album art that is and as you can see you definitely have to have headphones on um so I lost but it's a really good game it incorporates all your media library except for your videos um I really like it so I guess it's a game that you can play while you're waiting in line or something like that I don't want to make this video too long so I'll give you Klondike, same thing as Solitaire, they just changed the names for legal purposes. Never liked it. Um, so, yeah. So basically the same thing. I'm not going to get too much depth in that. Vortex. Love Vortex. Vortex is like brick, but it uses the click wheel so much better. Because it's actually a circle, so you can go 360. Because if you guys remember, brick was just 180. Because it's just a line. So here I'll give you a little preview of Vortex. Obviously, uh, if you're playing Vortex or Solitaire, you can be listening to your music. So, just as Brick, you use a click wheel. And I lost, but you get the picture. So that's basically all the features iPod has. Um, I've used this iPod for about a month. I definitely recommend it. The sound quality is superb. I mean, it's very good. I do have the Nano, and I see the difference. Well, I don't really see it. I hear it. But um, I think out of all of the iPods that are now out, you should either go for the iPod Classic or the Nano because the touch is at its first generation, and I know for sure that next year there's going to be a much better one. So, I mean... This is pretty thin. It holds all my library. So even if a new one comes out next year and replaces this one, I won't need any more than 80 gigabytes. Has a big screen. I can see my videos. It does everything I need to do and it does it well. So I definitely recommend this product. Uh Christmas is coming around, so I would ask or I'd get it. Um so take care and happy holidays.